from sketchy overtake maneuvers to getting pushed off the track to just general bumping all around this race has it all and i just wanted to figure out what the vw golf is like after update 2.0 all the while checking out the new track yas marina and with that welcome back to hd racing yes you heard that right the overpowered vw golf has been nerfed in update 2.0 is it now as bad as people claim it to be, saying that it's now the worst car in the Touring Car Series? Well, I wanted to figure that out, and I'm taking you along to three races today, the first of which being at the new track, Yas Marina as well. So sit back, relax, and we're gonna find out how good or bad the VW Golf is now after update 2.0. So let's take a look at the race start here at Yas Marina. And you've already seen some clips of this race in the beginning. This is not going to be pretty. And yeah, I don't know what was going on in this lobby, but a lot of people are calling the touring cars bumper cars, and I kind of get why. And if you look at this race, I think you'll also understand. The first corners went quite well. I mean, I started in a decent position and I'm able to hold my ground here. Um, as you can see, this is not the full variant of Yas Marina. This is the Northern Corkscrew, I think this variant is called. As I dive a little bit on the inside here. And, well, this guy really didn't take kindly to that. As you'll be able to see, he just pushes me off the track. Um, there was another guy to his right, so maybe there was some other bumping going on. Not quite sure. But, well, I get a penalty for being pushed off track, of course. Uh, thank you, penalty system of Forza Motorsport. And you see a lot of people uh, are able to get by me because of uh, this just little incident. Uh, but, yeah, the, the field was very close together. And you're gonna see I'm gonna be stuck in the middle of this for quite some time. And I also apologize, my driving standards in this lobby are also not the best. But... Um, <laughs> Well, you're going to be able to see it's just a reaction to things that are happening around me a lot of the time. And, well, the racing here wasn't clean at all. Um, the track really looks li nice. Um, I think the update uh, from Forza 7 uh, has been quite good uh, in terms of visuals. Um, I really like... Uh, the way that it looks and also like this variant the northern cox crew felt good to drive there are some things which are uh, already i think acknowledged by the developers that people have complained about already which are a lot of the curbs on this track or at least some of the curbs are really really i don't know if they're bumpy or if they're just uneven at least they can unsettle some cars very very badly <laughs> as you can see a lot of bumping going on here in this last sector um, it's a very short variant this one and it's not as pronounced uh, I haven't apart from two curbs uh, on this variant I haven't found many that were terrible or not bad but uh, I've seen on the full track at least that at least in some other cars as well um, it can be quite difficult um, if you go over some of the curbs that your car really gets unsettled I hope that's gonna be fixed in the future, um, but for now it is what it is. As Well, this is an overtaking maneuver that I haven't seen. Um, just try to go on the inside, but then go straight, and I don't know where he was going. Maybe he couldn't turn anymore, but this was so weird. And I find myself now back in P13. Um, from initial impressions, um, both in practice of this race and qualifying, the Golf definitely felt slower <laughs> as I get pushed around even more. Um, and I don't know if this guy wanted to go to the pits or where he was pushing me. Um, but yeah, the Golf definitely felt slower. It also felt a little worse on handling. Not as bad as I would have thought from uh, what I've been hearing and reading uh, from other people uh, that already had tried. Uh, the Golf after update 2.0 um, but from initial impressions it wasn't all that bad it definitely is a lot worse than it was because as I said in the beginning this car was overpowered it just had way too much acceleration the handling was very very good it was just an overall 
way too good car and i don't know what happened to this honda in front it, it didn't seem like there was contact for me or the other guy and he just seemed to have spun around regardless i don't know must have been some netcode problem or something um but yeah i think in this race we're not gonna find out much more about the golf um as i cut the track a little bit too much here and get a penalty for it um you can see the penalties going on uh, with all the other guys in the top left this race was so unclean I, I i don't think i have seen anything like it before in forza motorsport um just so much bumping and ramming uh, and i don't know uh, as i said ridiculous race and not some uh, another race where we can really draw any conclusions on the golf yet so we will have to go to another race to maybe figure out how good or bad this car now actually is kind of funny thing if you take a look at the race results here it seemed like as you can see audis everywhere i mean the audi was always uh, before update 2.0 the second best car next to the golf and a lot of people avoided the golf because it was just too good and winning in it didn't uh, winning in it didn't feel really like you accomplished anything um, so a lot of people went to the Audi and it seemed like, um, well, for now, at least from that preliminary, preliminary result from the first race, uh, the Audi definitely seems like a strong contender for now being the best car in the Touring Car Series. But I wanted to figure out how bad the Golf now actually is. And starting here on Silverstone National, I go a little bit deep into this corner. I had a problem on, on brakes where the rear came around and I started to lift on the brakes a little bit too much. Went into the Audi in front and, well, for some reason didn't get a penalty for that. Uh, felt a little bad for this one, for sure. Uh, but luckily nothing major happened. Uh, he didn't spin out completely and is still... Uh, I don't know if the, it's the guy behind me there. There are two Audis behind me now and one in front. So you can see the Audi, very popular car right now. Um, because the VW Golf definitely feels worse now. Um, Handling-wise, I think... Um, I, I can't really pin it down, but it just feels a little bit more understeery. And just generally n not as responsive as it felt before. Um, and power-wise, you can definitely see that. I think uh, someone also posted uh, on Reddit somewhere um, how much the power went down, actually. So it definitely got a, a power nerf uh, in terms of horsepower. Um, there sadly wasn't anything in the patch notes, so I don't know for sure. Um, but you can feel it. The Golf used to be so good on acceleration and just was able to pull away from everyone else. That is not the case anymore. And I think that is good. Um, did they go overboard with it? So far, I don't feel like it. Um, the Golf definitely feels worse now, but from what I've been hearing that the Golf now is like the worst car of the Touring Car Series, I, for, for now, can't really agree with that. And you, you can see here, I, I was able to well, get by uh, the guys in front, and uh, there's only one that is definitely way too fast for me. You can see we're jumping to the end of the race here. I wasn't able to catch him. I even lost out a little because I made some small mistakes. Um, but I was able to kind of keep up and I was able to keep the uh, three Audis behind me. And well, that was a result that I wasn't really expecting. Uh, the first race was really uh, a throwaway. And this race, I felt like, okay, I think the Golf isn't as bad as some people made it out to be. But I needed to be sure, so I did a couple more races. And one of those is this one at Grand Oak, where I qualified in P2. Um, it wasn't raining in qualifying, but it is now for the race. So I wasn't really sure what to expect, just that the grip level would be lower. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see um, what this is gonna be like. And well, again, there is Audis all around, as you'll be able to see. One in front, one in back, and I think even behind that, more Audis. Um, the Audi definitely is a, a very strong contender for the strongest car in the Touring Car Series now. I think the Link is also up there. It's also a very good car. Maybe a little bit worse on handling, but I, I, I couldn't really tell. Um, like, I, I think they're very close, but a lot of people seem to gravitate towards the Audi right now. But the Golf actually isn't as bad as people make it out to be. I, I really want to emphasize that. And 
since it's not overpowered now, um, I really don't mind driving this car now. Before the patch, I well, I was driving in the beginning, like in the very beginning of Forza Motorsport, because I just didn't know any better. Once I figured out how good it was and how overpowered it was, I stopped driving it because it really f didn't feel like an accomplishment if you won a race. And if you did badly, you were just feeling even worse because you were in such an overpowered car. Um, but now you can just use it. The car definitely is not overpowered anymore. I also don't think it's the worst car of the Touring Car Series. I think it's middle of the road. I think it's a decent car that you can use uh, and kind of depending on, on tracks and everything else. I think it, it's definitely a car that can win races. Um, as, I don't know, the, the Audi in front was really slow out of some of these corners and I did go for a little bit of a scent here and uh, yeah we just went on his inside there was some bumping going on and I don't know it's probably not the the cleanest overtake uh, I've definitely done better but I, I just wanted to get by because I felt like he was slowing me down um, overall um, definitely uh, now um, I am able to to pull away from these guys and well you're gonna be able to see how much I will be able to pull away at the end of the race. Uh, just something to be aware of, this is a smaller lobby, only 9 players. I don't know why this didn't fill up completely. Maybe just the last lobby to uh, be opened uh, when, when this race was just available. Uh, not quite sure, but yeah, maybe not uh, the most representative field of drivers here. And I also want to stress that neither am I the greatest driver nor can I really say how strong a lobby is that I'm in so only because I am doing well or bad that doesn't mean that the car is good or bad. I can just tell you what I felt when driving this car and compared to what I remember from the very beginning when I drove it uh, when Forza Motorsport came out. The car still feels good to drive and it also well it, it's not um, like amazing on power but it's also not uh, like really slow compared to all the other cars it's not like every other car is gonna just get away from you because you just can't accelerate anymore it's doing decent and I think that's overall my verdict for this car now it's a decent one maybe even good and I think you can just use it if, if you feel like driving the Golf and I really like the car so I think I'm gonna do that from time to time just because I enjoy it um, it's I think you, you need to do a little bit of tuning on it and I'm gonna share uh, the tuning that I did for this car uh, at the end of the video uh, it's also shared in game so if you just want to look up my uh, name HG Racing you can do that as well uh, but uh, I'm also gonna show uh, what I did for tuning uh, at the end of the video so you can just uh, pause on every screen and just use these settings if you want to I'm not saying this is like the best tuning for the car, it's just what uh, I've managed to put together and well, where, where I thought the, the car did handle quite quite nicely. Um, yeah, we're gonna now jump here into the last lap of this race. You can see I've pulled quite the gap to the guys behind and well, as I said before, give this car a try now. Uh, if you've avoided it because it was overpowered, you can definitely give it a go now. You're not gonna feel bad anymore because you win. Actually the opposite. If you win with this car, I think you do really well. Especially against the now more stronger cars like the Audi, like the Link. Um, if you can manage to beat those, props to you, for sure. And well, also props to me in this case. I was able to win this race. Uh, I wasn't really expecting that, especially from the qualifying times. I did okay, but like not the best. But maybe also the rain really suited me in this case. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what I've got to show for today. Uh, if you enjoyed this and you made it this far, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out. And well, as I said, I'm gonna show you the tuning now. But I want to leave you with this and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I've been HD Racing. Thanks a lot for watching.